Where is Directive 8020? I'm sure that is something many of you, including myself, has been asking themselves over the past few months. As a matter of fact, ever since I started streaming back in May, this is a question that I've gotten asked in chat dozens of times, asking me as if I know the answer to it. What I can do is theorize and maybe give you guys a better idea of what to expect I've seen a lots and lots of people being impatient about the news. See, for the past 4 years we've gotten a new game released every single year along with a new teaser for the game that will come out in the following. In 2019 we had Battle of Medan that then teased the low for 2020, which in 2020 when it released then teased Halls of Ashes for 2021, which then released in 2021 and then teased the Devil in Me for 2023, which then teased the Rectified 2024, well what people thought would be 2023, but here we are. And trust me, it is not going to release this year, I can 100% guarantee you so much. We're in the middle of August, it's nearly September, it means we'd only have 3 months for announcement, pre-orders, teaser content and all that else left. Just to give you a bit of an idea, The Devil and Me released on November 18th, 2022, Jesse Buckley was announced as a recognizable celebrity actor for the game on March 28th, more than half a year in advance. Outside of the teaser at the end of the game, we have zero information for Directive 8020 as of now, it's too late for a 2023 release, so why is that? After 4 years of releasing a DPA game yearly, we don't cash onto the hype of the quarry from last year and sit this year out. It's actually quite simple, we have 5 new games confirmed for Season 2, and just recently also a new collaboration game with Dead by Daylight, alongside Supermassive Games as a studio, now also releasing Little Nightmares 3 next year, and guess what? All of this needs resources, and especially time. It's quite clear to me that, especially after releasing two games last year, one of which had to be heavily cut down due to Covid, Supermassive Games sees this year as a break, at least in terms of releasing games, because trust me, I'm sure everyone is currently working their ass off to ensure that all of these new releases will be polished and get all the love they deserve. And guess what, I'd rather wait another year and give the devs more time to perfectionize their upcoming games than have them rush the releases just to stick to a yearly game job that who knows may even would have led to them having to delay games even later. By taking this one year to ensure the quality of the new season, we will have minimum 5 years of yearly new games to look forward to and I'm sure that this is an exchange that every fan of this franchise should be bored and willing to take. Now to wrap this up, I do believe we may get the first wave of information in not too long. I'm not sure if they confirmed it, but if they attend, I'm 100% sure that Supermassive Games will announce significant news for the game at the Gamescom um, this weekend. We already got Little Nightmares free, so who knows? And even if they don't, a 2024 release should be 100% on the table. So stay patient, support Supermassive Games and its devs alongside my channel if you want to. I'm, like mentioned, also streaming daily on Twitch since May, so check that out if you haven't yet. Other than that, hope you guys have a wonderful week. Stay safe, and happy, and I'll see you soon.